Hey guys, it's time for another detector unboxing video. Um, this is the first detector unboxing video of the new year, so I'm very excited. And this is something that I actually had mentioned on my Instagram story, um, but I didn't tell anybody what it was. Of course, you probably figured it out by now by the title of this video. Now in here are three smoke detectors. Two of them are boring and modern, but one of them is very very rare so let's go ahead and cut it open get my knife try not to cut myself with this sharp knife so yeah I saw this on eBay and I was like, oh my god. So, it took a while to get here. But, yeah, it took them a really long time to ship it, but you know, that's not a big deal. Okay, so let's see. That side. Okay. So, here's the, one of the kiddas. This is the one that one of the ones I was talking about. It's a Kida. Um, I don't even know the model number. I think this is an I ninety thirty. Yep, I ninety thirty. Um, and then this is the one right here. Put that aside. But then the other modern one was this this Kida uh, dual sensor. So those will be good replacement stock depending on what year they're from. Let's put those to the side. But this is the main one that I, I got this lot for. So let's go ahead and open it up. Whoosh. Here it is. This right here is an Entronic Vigilante model ES7. Now you know I used to have one of these, but my, the one that I had was the Z700. And that one was a 12.6 volt model. But look at this right here. 9 volt DC battery. This is an extremely rare version that has that takes a 9 volt battery. I think I had mentioned it. However, the other thing that makes it so rare is right here. That's a test button. This unit not only takes a 9 volt battery, but it also has a test button. So I am able to test this one, unlike my Z700 that I used to have. So it has its original Mallory Duracell battery, it looks like, and the mounting hardware. See, does the box have anything on it? The box is completely blank. Interesting. This must have been a contractor model. So here's the manual. Oh, it's the Vigilante 2. I did not know that. And then this must be a warranty registration card or something. Or, no, it's the California State Fire Marshal. Um, so, yeah. I We knew that these existed. I've, I think I saw one in an old newspaper ad. But, um, yeah, I never expected to find one. I thought that they like were so rare that they are basically non-existent. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Um, it says push and hold, or push to test weekly right there. Now, this... There was a um, another version, the Z1000, which was the hardwired model, and it actually looked very similar to this and the Z700, except instead of a test button there, it just had a lens for a power indicator LED. And it also said Entronic on the cover on here. Um, so the cover's a little bent, it looks like. That's no big deal, really. It's still really cool. Um... Yeah, I wonder if it has an LED. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it up. I might need to use two hands because judging by the way it looks like the cover goes on, it's the exact same uh, thing as the Z700. So it's going to take me a minute to get this off. Let me put the camera down right here really quickly. I should use my tripod. Ah. Well, that wasn't that hard. That wasn't as hard as the Z700 I used to have. Alright, so here it is. Oh wow. Oh wow. 
So it does have an LED. That's pretty cool. So the circuit board is white instead of blue like on the Z700. And there's a sensor. The label's on the sensor instead of on the cover. It's way different. Wow. Well, the basic layout is the same. I do remember in the Z700, the sensor was right here and the horn was right here. But it had the big uh, clip for the 12.6 volt mercury battery. So yeah, and the test button pushes down on the horn instead of on the sensor. There's a little tab right there. But it's got the regular Hobishi CLB27 uh, brass squealer as the the Z700 also had and the Z1000 I believe also had that. And here's the sensor. Let's see, does the target come off on this one or is it permanently? No, the target does not come off on this one. This metal piece right here is called the target. And on the D on the Z700 and the Z1000, the target could come off and you could clean it. Another thing is this one has a Mary Sim 241 in it. It doesn't have Radium 226. I was kind of interested in seeing if it had Radium 226 or Mary Sim 241. Very interesting. I just noticed that the test button was a little bent, so I just bent it back to position. That's probably why it was difficult to push. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing a sensitivity adjustment. And I'm not sure what that Molex connector there, the plug, is for. Uh, there's no test socket on it, unlike the Z700, which did have a test socket. So yeah, very cool. Model ES7. Oh, it says right there, do not remove this target. So yeah, the target is not removable. It looks like it's smaller. Yeah, it is smaller. Oh, because it's, it's, it's put together differently. It's got tabs. Okay, well, let's get a battery and power this thing up. Okay, let's see. Is this the right kind of battery? I honestly don't know. Okay. It might chirp when I put the battery in. I don't know. Well, that's weird. The battery... Contact terminals are like springy. Okay. Let's see. Put the cover back on. If I can do that without setting it off, maybe. This one's cover is easier to line up at least because it's got the test button as a guide. Okay. Okay. There, I got the cover back on without setting it off. Alright, let's test it. Three, two, one. Hang on. Okay. I don't think that battery's gonna work. Let me try it. Let me find a new battery. Okay, I found an energizer. And that seems to work. So let's try that again. Let's test it. So three, two, one. Wow. Pretty loud. So, um,. The LED is constantly lit when the alarm is sounding. So let me see if I can show you. That. Oops. You can kind of see it down there. Let's test it once more. So it's a pretty basic pitch for these. Um, and it's got, got a lot of ting after it stops sounding. So yeah, really cool. Now, I don't know if the LED is supposed to flash, like, to notify that the detector's operating or not. I didn't watch it, but maybe it'll say something in the manual. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the manual here. So this is the Vigilante 2 owner's manual, model ES7 9-volt DC battery, Entronic company. So, wow, small writing, okay. If you want to read it, you can pause.
Oh, that's better. The brightness. I do remember that diagram from the uh, Z7000 or Z700 manual. Now they do recommend you test it with smoke as well. That was also in the Z700 manual, of course, because the Z700 didn't have a test button. Oh, right here. Indicator light will flash approximately once every 30 seconds, so the LED does flash uh, just like a regular detector of today. And then indicator light will be lit continuously during test and actual alarm conditions. Let's see what we got on the back here. Oh, there's the warranty registration. It's also on the manual. Five-year limited warranty. I wonder if there's a date. January 1st, 1977. So this must be a 1976 model then if they're advertising. 1977. Or 1976 or 19... I don't know. Either of those two years. There's no copyright date on here. Oh, focus. Alright, so there's the manual. Um, so yeah focus camera. So um, this model uh, obviously succeeded the Z700, which I've mentioned. Um, Z700 didn't have a test button. It was 12.6 volt battery operated. I used to have one new in box, but uh, I gave it away to a friend a few years ago. I think he still has it. Um, but it looked exactly like this. It had the same cover, same base. The base is metal, by the way. Um, and then they had the Z1000, which was the hardwired model. Now, I did notice when I was putting the battery in, if I can remove the cover again. Let me see if I can maybe do it with one hand. Oh. Okay, maybe not. One second. Okay, I'm going to have to turn the base, or turn it over, and remove it there. Okay. So, uh, one thing I did notice, that over here, by the battery, it says models ES1, ES2, and ES7. Now, I don't know what ES1 and ES2 are. I'm guessing they were similar to this. Maybe hardwired versions with test buttons, I don't know, or hardwired with battery backup. Because the, Z, the Z1, one, Z1000, was it Z1000 or Z100? I don't remember. The Z100 didn't have, the hardwired model of the Z700 did not have a test button either. And it had Radium 226. Um, the ES1 and ES2 might be battery backup or with a test button. But then there was also the ES3. And the ES3 was a very later model, and it was a bit smaller. It was actually rebranded JS&A. Um, Nathaniel has one. And that one was a sealed unit, however, the test button, the way you tested it was you kind of like pushed the whole cover down, and it had a piezo horn. Um, the one that Nathaniel has has a really, really weird uh, low-pitched alarm sound. It's really cool, so you can take a look at his video. Um, I did just see the LED flash, so I'm glad that works. Let's test it without the cover. We didn't test it before. So you saw the LED Okay, so I'll put the cover back on. So yeah, I don't know how these people got this unit, how they got it and how they ended up getting it along with those kiddos, those modern kiddos. I really don't know how that happened, but I'm very happy to have this. This is definitely something that, you know you don't know exists, well you know exists, but you don't know you'll ever find it, and sure enough, you know, very cool. And it's a huge unit as well, compared to my hand, compared to the new kiddo ones. It's pretty big. 
All right, so that is about it for this video. That is the Entronic Vigilante 2 model ES7 smoke detector, 9 volt battery powered with test button. Thank you for watching, and one more test. All right, thank you for watching, and more to come.